Okay, so there... Sometimes, when you want to do a project, it's not because it makes sense. It's not because it's affordable. Sometimes you just want to do something because you want to see if you can. And in today's video, I'm going to explore a feature that Plex released that I have really not touched a lot of base on, if that's the proper word. And I'm going to see if I'm going to make it something useful, not for me, but for somebody who can actually put it to work. Touchscreen jukebox, but big. Now what you see here is, well, this is a stand. It's a portable stand you can put a TV on, right? Big TV, don't know how much it can handle. Hopefully it won't fall on me, but the idea is awesome jukebox that you can move around your shop. Ow! Oh, that just dropped on my foot. That hurt. This is a... This is a 55 inch. Oh, yeah. Touch screen TV display thing. I know what you're thinking. This is dumb but this is what I do. Now really the first thing that I need to figure out is going to be mounting. So this thing has lots of mounting options, it seems like. So I think I can mount this. I do not want to mount this like that, right? I don't want it to be horizontal. I want it to be vertical because if you know anything about Plex Amp, at least Plex Amp for Windows and especially on your phone, it's more of a vertical thing, right? So I, I need to make this vertical. So really the first task in this endeavor is to take this off of this and then see if I can get it to align onto this because that's pretty wide and part of me is thinking maybe a little bit. Now, you might be wondering, why am I doing this basically in the hallway, upstairs? The answer is very simple. I'm lazy, the TV is heavy, the stand is heavy-ish slash awkward, and I'm lazy. I do not want to drag all this crap downstairs, but I got this off. So I'm gonna see if it fits. Fear not, I think this, this thing comes with the things and stuff and maybe oh, all the plugins, all the things, but no, no mounting stuff. Well, that's awesome. Okay, so after exploring, finding some old hardware that I had from other mounting TVs, things like that, I have found essentially two good mounting bolts, uh, screws, whatever, and two not so good ones. So these are stronger, they fit and everything. These are cheap AF, and they will probably shear off with any kind of weight to put on them. So what I'm going to do, because got everything lined up here, Check it out. What I'm going to do is take the stronger bolts and because I plan on having the wires coming down So this is going to be the top here. I'm going to put the stronger bolts wire screws over here That way Most of the weight will be on the stronger ones. I mean obviously the bottom's still there and it's going to be doing its thing, but That's the plan and then after that all I have to do is Put these on that and hope everything lines up and then figure out some way to to get that up on the stand without 
hurting myself. This really brings the next question in though. How does one pick up a 100 plus TV, 100 plus pound TV, and put it on a stand that rolls? I don't know. Okay, upon further inspection, it looks like these move. This is good. So that means, in some way or another, this comes off. So that means I can mount this to that, and then all I have to do is stick it on. <laughs> oh, of course these are adjustable. So as soon as I took out the screws, boop, just fell on down. Okay, I know what you're thinking. This is really stupid. But you know what? I agree. So the idea is I'm going to <laughs> lift this big old touchscreen heavy ass TV above my head, put it on the pegs, and then use this to, to lift it up and screw it in. So, hey, no way this could fail. Let's get it up. Oh, this is, this is really, 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 really dumb. Oh. Okay, so I'm kind of stuck because if I lift it up a certain way, I'm going to be putting a lot of pressure on the screen. If I put a lot of pressure on the screen, that could crack the screen. Really, I need to just pull it up by these handles. So... Yeah. Yeah, I can't do this. There's no way I can do this without risking breaking the screen. And that's assuming I could even get this thing lifted up this high in the air. I mean, this is heavy as hell. My biggest thing is with laying it down, which is, I've thought about this, but the biggest thing of laying it down is how do I tilt it back up <laughs> without it sliding and, you know, screwing a bunch of stuff up. Unless, unless I put it on the carpet so it has a little bit of friction. Yeah, that might work. Box on a stick. Something like that. Uh, should probably tilt this, tighten it up. But you know what? I'm gonna take these out first. Yeah. Good. Cat, don't get ran over. How's that look? Look at that. And now we have. Okay. <laughs> 
Now you might be wondering to yourself, what am I gonna use to run this touchscreen amazingness? Well, remember that Simply Nook that I featured not too long ago, that Simply Nook sent me? It's a pretty badass little Plex Media server. I'm gonna use that. So let's cover everything that this needs to work. First of all, home base media server. This thing is actually the home base media server extreme made by Simply Nook. Actually, it's an Intel Nook rebranded by Simply Nook. It has a, a, a TV tuner built into the top, a quad channel tuner at that. And overall, it's just a beastly machine. And what that means is it's powerful enough to handle all the touchscreen stuff. For the touchscreen, ow. Little mother. For the touchscreen stuff, you need a USB 2.0 connection to this monitor. Uh, that is what it uses to read all of the touchscreen interaction. And obviously you need some sort of a display. So this one uses HDMI. You could also use on this particular model, DisplayPort or VGA or all kinds of things. This is only a 1080p screen, which is perfectly fine. Don't need 4K. Uh, and this is just literally going to be an amp, the Plex amp connection to play music on, like that's it. Now to get everything up and running, first thing you need is an aggravated cat. So you just get a little thing right here, and you just do that, stop, good to go. And then the next thing, obviously, you need power. So I've got a little power strip, everything plugged in. Just gonna get this turned on, boom. Turn around and turn on the computer. As you can see, I did plug in a keyboard and a mouse just because, just because. Hi. Ooh. <laughs> there we go. And it's sideways, of course. Now, even though I have a keyboard and mouse plugged in, I don't necessarily need that for everything. Uh, you can do on-screen keyboard, all that other kind of stuff. But for the basic stuff, you do have a couple options. I mean, obviously you can click you can drag, you can do things like that. Or if you want to change display settings, I'm just going to go over here, going to change the display settings. For the display resolution, uh, it is 1920 by 1080, but we're going to change it to portrait. Ooh, 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 no, no, no. Try that again. Let's see. Change it to portrait flipped. There we go. Now we have little bit aggressive on the something on there. Perfect. Look at that. And we have a cat biting me. So now... There you go. Okay, this is this is kind of cool, right? Plex amp. I don't use it a lot, and I'm not 100% familiar with it, so a little bit of a learning curve. But bring it up. My library of stuff, the only one I could really play for copyright reasons. Okay, that is just like some YouTube music download that I put in here. But if I wanted to browse through and look at just random people, so Kid Rock, let's go into there, let's go. Look, I get it. The practicality of a 55 inch touchscreen Plex amp driven jukebox is probably not practical. The thing is though, is I really just wanted to try. I've been kind of sort of loosely searching for a touchscreen jukebox application, one that is 
simple, easy to use, and is updated. And believe it or not, that's harder to find than you would think, which is understandable. I mean, the market for touchscreen jukeboxes out there just for the lols is pretty limited. So that means most programs that I've found, although they work, for the most part, they're a little slow and they're definitely outdated. So you take that factor, you combine it with the fact that I am a Plex fanboy and my channel is also sponsored by Plex that I had to try PlexAmp as a solution. But here's some honest feedback with what I found trying to use PlexAmp on a desktop platform with a touchscreen. First things first, when it comes to the interface, Full screen needs to be a thing. It needs to be an option. I can maximize it as much as I want to, but at the end of the day, I cannot get rid of the taskbar unless of course I hide the taskbar. You do have options to make it always on top. So in a roundabout way, you could make it full screen if you wanna hide your taskbar, but it would just be nice for PlexAmp to have a full screen option. Just boom, full screen, always on top, knocked out. That's it. You ain't gotta worry about changing your taskbar settings. Nothing like that. That would be awesome. Second thing, I really wish that the PlexAmp for Windows would run a little bit more, or at least have an option, like maybe a touchscreen little option that would run a little bit more like what it would on your phone because phones obviously are touchscreen. So you can scroll through your music a lot easier. Uh, it's just way more touch friendly than what it is on your desktop. I mean, you don't have options like scrolling through a mouse or anything like that when you have a touchscreen. So it would be nice to have a touchscreen option enabled in PlexAmp, and I've looked for this, to where it'll make it just a little bit or a lot of bit more usable for a, this sort of touchscreen application. Now the setup that I used was a Simply Nook little miniature PC. And I think that something like that, whether it's a Simply Nook or whatever, is pretty much perfect for this application just because it's small, it's low powered, and in some fashion, I could have duct taped this thing to the back of the monitor and it would have been clean. Of course, this is all just a testing platform for me. I have zero intentions of using this in any possible way. If I did want to use this for something entertainment wise, I would obviously tie it to a stereo system or some sort of a speaker, Bluetooth speaker, anything whatsoever. But I didn't set up anything fancy audio wise because at the end of the day, I just don't plan on using this for anything except maybe on my camping trip. I can set up like a little touchscreen booth or something, but you know what? That's heavy. Like that's a pain in the butt to move around. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna take it over to watch Jericho's shop and just drop it on his front door and be like, here you go, bro. <laughs> Throw it away if you don't want it. If you guys don't know Watch Jericho, he's actually another local YouTuber close to me. Uh, he has this huge man or shop. He has this huge shop where, uh, you know, he's got a lot of audio equipment, got a lot of stuff going on. So in my mind, this sort of a setup like this is perfect for an environment like that, where you have a large open space, maybe multiple people wanting to use or change the music. Uh, you don't want to have to rely on a phone for an app. All you have to do is just have a touchscreen in the middle of the shop and people can just go up there and, and, you know, pick and choose what they want. I don't know how practical that will be or how great it will be, but in my mind, that's kind of the best possible scenario for having a 55 inch touchscreen jukebox. Well guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of content. This is again, just literally seeing if I could do something just to see if I could do something. No practical need whatsoever. In fact, I don't even want it anymore. But hey, that's what I do. Stuff. <laughs> As always, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and or comment in the section down below if you have any complaints for me. And have yourself a great day.